Hi everyone! I don't usually give out book reviews, but I just finished reading this book called Skunk Works, and I want to tell you guys, I actually read it twice, I wanted to tell you guys, read it! It is so good! I loved it! I absolutely loved it, and I probably will read it again. Um, so Skunk Works is the R&D department of Lockheed, and they are the official, unofficial, whatever you want to say, toy makers. And they put those in quotes like toy makers of the CIA. And um, what they did was uh, make spy planes for the CIA during the Cold War time and the Gulf War. And um, some of the stuff that they made was the um, F-117A stealth, the U-2, the Blackbird. Uh, I want them to bring the Blackbird back actually. And um, even the vertical takeoff plane. And uh, it just goes through. This book is really good because it goes through all the stuff that Ben Rich had to go through with the government. All the red tape involved in having a top secret project and keeping it top secret. He called them draconian measures. And um, and I really like that. So like, if you like that nitty gritty industry stuff of all the stuff that goes through developing a top secret project, you're gonna love this book. Like I love that. So I was drooling over it and I really appreciated all the details that they put into this book. It also, another thing that this book does where I guess it's like an underlining thing that maybe someone could read this book and not pick up on it. But another thing that this book does is it shows how um, government and because Skunk Works, uh, Lockheed is a private industry. And uh, it shows how government and private industry can work together. And uh, which is a good perspective to have, like um, everything doesn't have to be government. Government doesn't need to come in and do everything. And um, everything doesn't need to be done by the private sector. They can work together. There is a nice medium and uh, Skunk Works talks about all the stuff that they went through. Um, with the government, all the failures, all the, all the, um, all the successes, obviously, that they experienced working together. Uh, my favorite part of this book, which is kind of, it didn't answer, it didn't answer my, the one big question that I had, actually. Uh, so how they developed the, how they came, how they derived the theory that built the stealth technology on. So uh, this Russian professor, Doctor, oh God, I'm gonna butcher his name, um, Peter Ufimtsev. I'm so sorry, that is just so bad. U f i m t s e v. Okay, Doctor Ufimtsev. Uh, he wrote this paper uh, some nine years earlier. And um, there's this long, long tech paper that only nerds and stuff, tech people <laughs> would enjoy. And uh, at the end of this paper, the last line, the last two lines of this paper, he gives a theory on how a given geometric configuration would reflect electromagnetic radiation, which is pretty much stealth. That's stealthiness. You know, that's how you achieve um, making something big look small. So you have like this big, huge plane, but it looks like it's a golf ball. And um, he showed those papers, he showed his findings to senior Soviets and none of them were interested. None of them. It took a uh, guy at Skunk Works nine years later called Denny's oh, Overholster. Denny's Overholster. He found it. He was going through the paper and he came across it and took it to Ben and he's like, Ben, here it is. Here's like, here is your unicorn. <laughs> and uh, Ben ran with it even though a lot of people objected and the book goes through all that. Um, the paper, if you're interested in it, if you're a nerd like me and you would like to know what the paper is called, it's called Methods of Edge, 
methods of it, edge waves in physical theory diffraction. I actually downloaded that paper and I tried to go through it. Um, I got to like just a few lines. <laughs> it, it looked interesting. I wish I could go through more. Um, anyway, I would have loved to have seen. See, this is what I would have loved to have seen. I, because the stealth technology is pretty much why, well, it's possibly why we won the Cold War against the Russians. And it was based on a theory that a Russian professor who was, I think, at UCLA at that point, he was a professor at UCLA by then, but uh, it was a theory that he had came up with. So I would have loved to have seen like Gorbachev's face or whoever. <laughs> When they found out, it could just be a fly on the wall and find out what they would have thought when they came across the fact that it was a Russian scientist who came up with the theory that the Americans used to beat the Russians in the cold. It never answered. I don't think anybody was, I don't know if anybody was in the room when Russian officials found out and remembers the looks on their faces. Can you please just write it down and tell me, write a book about it. I want to, I want to hear what happened. I really want to, I wish I could have seen their faces, but anyway, it is possibly the reason why we won the Cold War. Um, it's a, possibly a very good reason. Anyway, if you're interested in stuff like that, you, you like war stuff and you like technology stuff and sci-fi stuff and industry stuff and declassified top secret stuff, this, like seriously I'm gonna read it again it was really every time I read it I see something else so anyway hope you like it hope you read it and if you do let me know what you think about it thank you